Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty D Gaming, I'm Scotty D and today I'm going to be playing The Devil In Me. Now I believe that this is the last instalment in the Dark Pictures Anthology, which is a bit disappointing, however I do hope they go on to make some more games in a new anthology because I think this series has been phenomenal. Now the horror genre of this one, from what I'm led to believe from the end of the last game when we saw the, the preview video, is it's more like a Saw style horror. Do you want to play a game? And the answer is, I do in fact want to play a game. So let's do it, baby. New game. Forgiven, challenging or lethal. Let's go with challenging. For well, they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. Horsey 8-7. Every choice has a consequence. Some decisions save lives, and others take them. Others... <laughs> ...lead to dead rats. Death. Choose wisely. Feet, Jeff. Can you imagine it? I'm attempting to. I bet you can see for a hundred miles at the top. Massa Ferris wheel. First priority. Whatever pleases you the most. You please me the most. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> This guy's living the dream, isn't he? Genuine snake oil. I think we've arrived. Isn't this grand? As advertised. Very nice. Let's check in. I believe these guys are going to be checking out soon enough. Checking out from this life. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. One star service, trip advisor, that shit. Oh, the receptionist, the gunner. You've been waiting a while for him. Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. Use right stick to choose. Excited, let's go to the fair today. Reassuring, everybody must be busy elsewhere. We'll be positive. Everyone must be busy elsewhere. That's no way to run a business. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. This guy looks like Wallace and Gromit. My sincere oh. apologies. For both startling you and for making you wait. My attention was needed elsewhere. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. I bet. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. The Unfair Hotel. Please, sign in here. First time in Chicago, I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Really? Oh, a honeymoon. How very, very lovely. Wrong with her face. <clears throat> Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. Don't do it. <laughs> yes. Sign away our life. Today's the beginning of our honeymoon. Congratulations. 
Oh, we've got Shenmue Hand. Case, an Maybe I should buy order. another. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. This You're guy's the architect, game's master. Then? Architect, designer, builder, doctor, artist. I'm a man of many interests. Impressive. Please, have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. This guy's getting off on what he's about to do. I can't wait to see. What we got? Now, Use R to change selection. What did I forget to bring. I don't know what any of this is. We can only pick two things. What's this? Lube. We definitely need lube. It's a honeymoon. It's bath milk. <laughs> it is lube, lads. Yeah, yeah. Got the lube, baby. That changed something. Oh, pardon me, miss. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm. He sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like to know? <gasps> the rings. Mate, those are the rings of other couples that have stayed here. That's awesome. I do have another, another thought in my head. Are these two people that we're playing as really who we think? Because I'm, I don't believe that they don't seem like a married couple. I wonder what's in here. Yeah, I think these guys are all thieves. I think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. <sighs> oh no way! Nothing that but in an corner. unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? It's it's hideous. Don't even look at it. <gasps> Don't move. Oh, the heartbeat thing. Okay. So it's A, but it can change to Y. Right, we'll keep an eye out for that. Breathe easy. Got him. Funny, he left the door open. <laughs> that was a thrill. You won't think it's thrilling if we're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. Let's go. Oh, he's not impressed. 
Not at all. Welcome, newlyweds, to the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. Why are his ears black? Like inside. Yes. <laughs> Goodness, this place is fit for a king. Or my queen. Oh, you. Shown the lube. Kiss this. That is not very wifely of you. Hey! Ah, bullseye! You asked for it. Oh, go on, get wrecked. Right in the fucking eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Should I be frightened? If you're smart. <laughs> on, smash on the face, mate. Oh, I'm like the Matrix. <laughs> mercy, mercy. Okay, you win. Anything broken? Only my pride. How about a peace offering? Hmm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. <laughs> I have a gift for you. Close your eyes. Oh, he's going to whip out the length. It's this old chestnut. We've seen Are this before. Are you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. <laughs> Is there a problem? No. Open your eyes. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. <laughs> Victory is mine. I'll let you have that bath now. Maybe I was a bit skeptical. I think these might actually be a real married couple. I don't think there's any ulterior motives, although... Oh my god, we've got spy cams. Jammed shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it? That's X. <sighs> Open sesame! <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. I hope so. Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. Don't you worry. Oh, so we're playing as Jeff now. God, we're going to get to explore, right. Well, this is a dead end. Was this the room she was in? Yeah, I think it was. Oh no, this was. Big Jeff. Let's see what he's up to. We've got to get a shaver from downstairs. I might want to shave. I might want to shave somebody else. I want to go in here. Better not. Oh, come on, bro. I want to see what's behind that cloth. This was the way we came up. Yeah, me too. Lad, this game's already hideous. What? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> the House of Horrors. Marie! 
hope she gets boiled in the bath. Dump the whole thing. This might not be wise because we might not be able to see a trap at the bottom of the bath if it's full of bubbles. We could have sealed our fate. Oh, do you see that? Was there somebody behind her there? Oh no, it's the hat in the background. Mm. Yeah, bathroom scenes where like, you're in the bath, it, it, it's such a vulnerable position for anyone to be and that's why it's so terrifying. Get out. Is that you, darling? Nah. Jeff? Oh, are we playing another game? No, this is the guy called Master Beta. Master Pervert. We're going to investigate. We have to. <laughs> we're going to die here. Okay, Mr. Smicky. At least we're out the bath. You can't sneak up on me, Mr. <gasps> Son of a bitch. Holmes. Hello, my What are dear. you doing in here? Jeff! I don't think he can quite hear you. <laughs> Jeff bro- Stop! Oh, no way. Get away from me! But I'm not finished yet. I said get- Oh my god, she got wrecked. Where's, where's Jeff? It. Will only hurt more if you do. Get it, get it, get it, get it. You're only prolonging the inevitable. Come on, bro, don't be what? a bitch. Wreck him. What are you? What have you done? Calm yourself, sir. I've seen your wife have an accident. <laughs> Is there a problem, sir? I was like, no, it's alright, no problem at all. Mate, move, move, move. Gast. You made a wrong move there, sunshine. You should have fought him. She is a beast! Come on, baby. Come on, you can do it. Fight for your life. You're gonna die anyway. At least cause some damage before you die. Marie! You're wasting your last chance to tell him that you love him. That's amazing, you actually made them watch each other die. That's insane. <coughs> Guy's a master of his craft. <laughs> this saw guy is just, what's he called? Mr. Holmes. I like him. Yeah, the ring goes in the thing. I thought I thought that's what it was. A place for everything. Everything in its place. Well, look at this. Oh, it's wonderful. Only the best for you, my dear. Mother would simply die. It's so I say, popular. good man, do you work here? Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. So I wonder who, who, so, oh, what a tune. Oh, yeah. 
best tune ever. Won't you spare me over to another year? Oh, we just saw somebody getting suffocated with a plastic bag. I love it. The thing is though, this guy is called the Curator. In the last game, we never saw much of the cr the Curator, which was a bit disappointing because I think he's a great character. I know he's only there to be kind of the... Well, what is this the person that like, you talk to between chapters and he gives you like help hints if you want it. But I just love him as a, as a character. Yeah, I kind of hope it's set in modern day. And then this this guy, this Holmes, has had a lot more time to per perfect his craft. Oh, you're here. Have you been waiting long? It's always good when a familiar face returns. Obviously, you're in the mood for a new tale. Of course. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices, and sometimes, it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obbles. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Oh, what was on the Look eyes? For them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Ah, so that's a new feature. Well, shall we start? The game is afoot. I will be watching. Ah, so maybe you can buy hints, because before you just had a choice to say yes or no? My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on... Uh, 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 and, uh, and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. <laughs> I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. <laughs> I'm working on it. I. Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, 
had a great time. Really want to get back into some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. I've been a key grip in lighting tech for years. Oh, too. No problem. Light it. She was, I can't remember who she was. Yeah, she used to be in, the, in one of these like previous that. games. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like, personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonnit, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track, it was, uh... It was a very beautifully conceived and um, didn't quite uh, uh, hit the mark as I was hoping it would. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. Fucking mess. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. This is the child of the guy. Your honor. Probably. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement, put me deeper than anyone else, and cover the ground with more cement, cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, AKA Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders but his investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested, under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? I don't really understand what's happening. Was that just a video that she was narrating over the top of? To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation <laughs> is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes, of course. We're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. Mr. Dumet, send you. We. Right. Get in the boot. Let's load up, guys. I right, got it. I'm good. <clears throat> Sorry. Are you? I mean. This is that ring light hmm. that makes glowy. Oh my god, this is so good already. This is gonna be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip. Huzzah! Woohoo! Hooray. 
This is going to be great, guys. I wonder if the guy in the phone is the same guy driving the car. So do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises? You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka? Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault, because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited. We've got from a copycat. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. No chance. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Was may share information that you know about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do. Fine. Oh, I was hoping it would give us the choice, I said no. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka. Dude is so rich, shouldn't he have servants or something? This guy gonna help? <clears throat> no, really. I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it, jackass. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There. From on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great. And we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. Fit as a fiddle. Fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. Get some footage on the top of the lighthouse. Right, let's go. So, what I'm thinking is... If somebody hired you... And they were explicit in telling you that... You will be driving victims to a house where they will be murdered. But they were paying you... A significant sum of money to do so. Would you take the job? I might. I'm not gonna lie, lads, I might do it. But I think the driver of that car was actually the guy that owns the house. That's why I preferred not to be seen. Ah, that's wrong. Left bumper. I like the look that the game already looks scary. It's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but. Oh, so much for plan A. We must be able to work What the around. fuck just happened there? Come on. Let's go walk backwards. Anything for the shot, right? Warning, cliff erosion. The warning about everything falling into the ocean. 
I'm going to say we trusted and not die. Nah, this sign is something the lawyers made them put up. I'm sure it's fine. Hard disagree. Press A to jump down and access new areas. I wonder if the exploration in this one's a little bit more than the previous games. I mean, I kind of do Mark, like linear, linear games. Say, um, thanks for backing me up, man. What? About getting this footage? No, for the whole trip. You know some of the crew can be challenging. To work with. Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you hadn't been on board. I figured that the episode was such a mess, we needed all the help we could get. Right. Yeah. I guess we do. Yeah, I kind of like it when there's, there's not too much okay. exploration to well, do in games like this because you don't get distracted. Here, all remote and away from the world, that maybe I'd have some downtime, some space to decompress. Downtime? Why would you want to do that? You know, relax a bit. I've never seen the attraction. Must have been quite a storm. There's a big, massive hole there you can just walk through. <laughs> Come on, mate. Oh, we've got a lighter. Aim the torch. <laughs> we can aim the... Sorry, aim hey, the lighter. When we wrap, I'd like to take a couple weeks off. Go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that concerning eye of yours, you know. I've got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, right, yeah, of course, sure. Take a couple of weeks. Get your head together. I appreciate it. I'll be fine in post on my You should do the same. Take some time out. You got any family you can go and bother? Oh, well. No, Mrs. Lonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? Married to the job. <laughs> Married to the job. <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. <laughs> Married to the job. I've come quite a distance already. I'm waiting for a jump scare here. <laughs> Fucking shitbag. I knew, oh, I knew it was time. coming. <laughs> you know, just hanging out. Maybe it's part of some old museum display or something. Dickhead. Right. That's probably it. I don't shit myself, bro. I even knew, I, whenever you see the camera zoom in and then zoom on something, just expect a jump scare. Oh, I just fell down. Expect a jump scare. Because on purpose, you try to divert your attention. Coming. Yeah. Just looking at the light on the mist. How is that gonna fit into the show? It just caught my eye. Coming. Always the photographer. I can't exactly turn it off. There's a lot of crossover between the creative stuff and the commercial stuff. Hmm. You sure about that? Because crossover with Kate hasn't exactly. We agreed to let that drop for the weekend. Just making sure your head's in the game. I like diary. Or is it? Fish factory. Great Lakes place. Post Fish Factory. Exciting times. We can go over there. We can go through here. Let's check. And it looks like we can crawl over this. Let's check this door. Locked. Nightmare. Oh, 
Awesome. This thing hasn't been manned in ages. And why's the horn still going? Because they didn't decommission the fog. It's all automatic now. Vacation time. 14th of the 4th, 2000. Keep it up team, this should be the final week. Last night's foghorn test was successful. Looked like the automation is all up and running. We'll do one final trial today then we can pack away the kit. A couple of you have reported that homeless guy hanging around again. We're going to be bumping up security in the compound and conducting final checks today and tomorrow just to be on the safe side. I don't want anyone getting injured. Other than that, the work's been great. The work's been great all project. So let's keep up the pace and we'll be out here by the end of the week. TS. Still locked. Oh, we can't walk back there. Right, let's go. Come on, bro, there's fuck all in there. Mate, did this guy just shimmy through sideways? You could walk. He could have walked through that head on. Look. Man's making a mountain out of a molehill. Kind of got that Alan Wake misty vibe, hasn't it? Foggy vibe. This looks pretty old. Down to equipment item. You can use a tie clip to open lock boxes. Right, come on then. There we go. What's that? The first one. Just some old coin. Find the penny. Pick it up. Obbles can be used to unlock dioramas. I imagine dioramas are visions, maybe. I've never actually found. I know they said in the game, like if you you can you explore, you can find visions of choices to come. Only thing is, I've never actually Look, found those visions to be helpful in time. making a choice. Now and again, but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. It's not how cars work. Jesus, you try and give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it. I actually wanted to push it. I'll use X to grab hold of it. Yeah, I've never really found the... the visions to, have, to be any help. I think it's best just to use your... Like how you would make the choices, you know what I mean? And to be honest, I don't. A lot of the choices either are like win or fail in, in this. Like either you miss, you complete the QTE or you fail it. But you would always try to win it. And if you fail it, it's just on accident. But I don't think any of the visions of like mean like, oh, you should fail this to save somebody else. I don't think that's how it's ever worked. So that's how I don't really see the value, value in them. I could be wrong though. A little breaking and entering. How are you not in jail? <laughs> ah, I fuck that. Christ, what the hell is that? 
hide. Hold left trigger. Crew members won't be spotted while hiding. The fuck's that? Nice to meet you too. Was it a fox? Oh, so someone's gonna crash a boat. <laughs> Maybe. That may or may not happen. We'll see. Just need some fresh sheets, some nice drapes, and six gallons of sanitizer. Upstairs it is then. All of this for a photo. Oh, beautiful. Fucking art. What in God's name is this? Ah! <laughs> it moved. <laughs> it's like mechanical look. Mechanical crow. Where's my mate? He knows better than to come up here. We're going too slow. Bro, I didn't know where I'm going. Charlie, I'm getting an uneasy feeling about this. Somebody has a taxidermy hobby. Relax. <laughs> Some hobby. Well, I don't know where to go. Oh, there's fucking ladders here, man. It's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. Look at this. It's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. Look, it's all right. Come on, we better get back. What, what are those called? Barges. They're actually pretty cool pieces of machinery, Is that those. Him? I don't know. We just had the one call. How, how did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Let's just play nice, okay? Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Dumet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Erin. Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that... Um... Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course. Mate, why would you trust someone like this? I just don't know. I know people get blinded by monetary gain and, and visions of success. But it's shady, this, isn't it? He's like, oh, come to this island, we'll take all your phones and uh, just just get on the boat. Trust me, bro, get on the boat. Nah. Nah, bruv. This guy could be a puppet, though. The real owner of the... the lighthouse and castle. 
we'll just be hiring this guy because he's an idiot. Get him to ferry people back. So see, the, the, could this be the homeless man they were talking about? Remember when we read the letter that said there was a homeless man hanging about? Let's get yeah. up to the hotel. Uh, please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No, of course not. You sure? Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe. But we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt. So please, take care. Looks like things have buttoned up tight around here. God. This way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. By who? I'm not exactly dressed for a hike, Mr. Dumet. It's just a short walk. It won't take long. You're right. He takes his security very seriously. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie, Truth. Just saying. You watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy. We've known that right from the start. We've known that for about two hours. Just go. Bro, man lives on an island. How much privacy do you want? Mark, get your camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talking to camera, then I'll direct you from there, okay? No photos. No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm a very private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dumat. Discretion is Lonnet Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go. Aaron? It sounds clear. Okay, let's go for a technique. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like you. Rolling. Speed. And action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house and start to walk. OK, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas? This way. I thought you said you didn't want to be Just on camera. Shots, right? So you Obviously. walk into the shot. It's funny, like, I watched some videos on YouTube where people, like, complain about... Like, people recording them and it's like, well, mate, you wouldn't be getting recorded if you didn't walk up to the person with the camera. You know what I mean? Mr. Dumas is being really restrictive. I noticed. I want you to go look around without him knowing. The man is entitled to his privacy. He's caging. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops in Glendale. Seriously? Ah! Ow! Oh my! Damn it! What happened? You okay? Ah. Did you get your baby ego again? We should get her up to the hotel. Oh my god, I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up? In Glendale? Oh, right. OK. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. You have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. Hmm. What is going on? Come on. I'll clue you in later. Been taking acting classes again? Yeah, yeah. What's Charlie want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because I'm charming and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. Bang, bang. Good shit. Did she just hotwire a gate? <laughs> Bro, she's clever. She can hotwire a gate. Raw steel hotwired. I have hey, noticed. Can I ask you something and get a, a straight slow. answer? You know, you know, you making a smart ass reply or taking a shot at me. That works both ways. Fine. Look, tell me the truth. Is there any saving this show? Maybe. If there's some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information to be had here. You think that's likely? No. At best, we'll get some nice B-roll. That's not gonna save our asses. Yeah, I've noticed that the game, weirdly, is, is pretty slow-paced. 
I don't mind. Oh, there's a pixel. I know it's building tension. Come on, baby. Want to see some sick shit? It's a bit of a scramble. Watch your head. Completely denied access to this place. Oh, wait there. Nah, all the windows are shut. Come on then. Uh, you could have told us to dress for a trek. <laughs> Try not to fall and die. I don't want to see Mark cry. Thanks for the concern. Really? I think the only other time you had to do this bouncing act was in Man of Medan, I'm pretty sure. Does she have a lighter? She doesn't have a lighter. Wonder where this goes. It's straight up and down the hill. Yeah. But what's on the other end? Old train car, that's a bit weird. The tracks seem to lead. Oh. Would that even fit under there without destroying this? With your family? My wife is... she died. Oh, shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Come on, we're about there. They didn't see us. Oh, shit. Let's go. This is ridiculous. There's nothing out here. I actually nearly missed that prompt because I wasn't sure what it was trying to get me to do. But that's a new mechanic in the series. The hide mechanic. Yeah, it's a lot more like Until Dawn, this, compared to the others. There's a lot more freedom by the looks of things. Maybe they went all out because the last game in the series. What about over there? Dead rats. Uh, Jesus! Ah! I had a bad day. Look at the tail on it. Boss man. I heard you were looking for a new place. Another vision. <laughs> I think this is going to get really good once we get inside when things start getting messed up. Right. Shazam. Wait, there's a note over there. Looks like Dumet has a family. He does. Vacation photo. What does that say though? Mediterranean cruise 21. I think these guys might be getting held hostage or something. I don't I don't believe they could be that guy. Maybe. 
Maybe his family's been held hostage for him to lure people to this island. I hope so. That'd be amazing. Maybe this is the way. wanted to go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. This shit is not in my job description. Another coin. I wonder what these can actually buy. I was kind of thinking, can they buy like a rewind? Me of shit summer camps. But I don't think it will because he said it, you could only spend it with the curator to unlock something. Here by the looks of things. Okay. If I can get the car moving and stop it here, we'll be able to get across. You see the control panel? It's Use button. I don't even think there's power. Box instructions. Right, we can't actually play with it, so. We can go up if we want to. Go down out and go up. Let's try up. Good choice. I've realized there's a different picture on every single coin. Oh, we got eight there. Jeez. But we didn't, we got, I think, four. That coin gave us four. Four or five. Light it up, baby. Maybe we can get this thing working. Jamie, can you fix this? Look at her eyes, she was like, she went all demonic. Press left to equip, equip the multimeter. Amy can use the multimeter to fix fuse boxes. Ah, so we're going to have to keep people alive because they've all got the individual talents. Well, no, I don't want you to do that. Ah, okay, we move with that. So we f Flick. Flick. I don't know why she needs a multimeter for that, but I mean... Kazam! Beast mode! Damn, I'm brilliant. She needed a multimeter to flick switches, that is, that is insane. Bro, I can't turn my light switch on because I don't have a multimeter with us. Imagine. Here. 
Hear that? The groundsman. She's the worst hide person to hide ever. The head sticking off the top of the rock. Bet you that person just turns out to be a giant cuddly teddy bear. Or he could murder us like the nemesis. Take your pick. Wonder what these are. Hazardous substrate. Or substance. Invoice covalent exchange. Client Grantham Dumet, so he is the client. There's no description and no amount. Probably some sort of acid or way to like eliminate biomaterial. Locked. He's going to climb the boxes, maybe. I would. Hmm. Oh, the big, the big thing we can climb. Probably should, we should climb that. Yeah, lads, we need, we need the action needs to pick up here. There's, there's little to no action. Come on, come on, baby. Show me some severed limbs, severed heads. Hey! Oh. Oh god, that's so much better. <laughs> I guess Idiot. I just needed to rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. I found a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I say. You got it, Mr. Gumet. We're all here now. Let's head on. Everyone stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumet, please. Kate. What do you think? A summer camp from hell. Whatever. We're gonna find out what's up his sleeve before too long. Don't worry about that. Well, I think we should leave. This don't smell right. Coming or what? Uh huh. Yeah, the heights. You afraid of heights? Yeah, he is. That's why he was a bit twitchy in the lighthouse. Yes. What a bitch. Oh, shit! We're all gonna die! I hope she dies. Just go. <laughs> oh my god, relax, Mark. Just wait. I wanna kill her, just watch. Ooh, that serious drop. You good? Oh man. We've gotta we've gotta cheer him on. You can gotta do let it. her do it himself. Eyes forward. Don't look down. I got it. It's fine. Is it though? I shouldn't have looked. It's just water down there. You can swim. Besides, the bridge looks dependable. Ish. Come on. I'll help. That's it. Look. It's fine. I'm not looking. Don't look down. Yeah. <laughs> See? Not so bad. <sighs> Thank you. You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. Where is everyone? Apologies, uh, they're all city folk. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people.
This guy in the yellow trench coat is a bit of a weirdo. Don't know what to make of it yet. Oh, this does actually look like the whole... That's weird, this looks like the hotel from the start of the game. It's got the same like corner piece. 